えー、5分そういうわけで吸血鬼が昔からいたように吸血鬼と戦う人も昔からいたんです Hello everyone and welcome back to Draco Riot Let's continue 日本においてはカリュードと呼ばれる人たちが古くから人々を守っていました Is that so? Question! 何ですかユウト君 Were vampires back then really that violent? 今と違って合成血液もなかったし吸血鬼同士のつながりもなかったからね本能に任せて人を殺めてしまう吸血鬼もいっぱいいたみたい So hunters were the knights of justice? かつてはそうだったと言えますねけど今は吸血鬼も社会に溶け込んでいますし合成血液で本能を抑えることにも成功しましたさらに吸血鬼対策の陰陽局もできて吸血鬼と戦うこと自体がほとんどなくなっているんです Basically, hunters are losing their jobs. 陰陽局に技術を提供したのはカリュードだったんだけどね What? Really? So hunters are still amongst us? <laughs> それがなんかお役人さんの考え方と合わなかったみたいでみんな里に帰っちゃったんだって Hmm, I see なので現在のカリュードはひっそりと暮らしていて吸血鬼狩りも行われなくなっているんです以上でカリュードのことはおしまい何か質問は Yes, I was just wondering Is your shrine made uniform based on what hunters wore into battle? 違いますこれは神社でお祭りの時に使ってたの Oh, so in your dances? そう、里の近くに神社があって子供の頃から手伝ってたから So hunters have a village おばば様が履歴書にその時の写真を貼っちゃって Ah, so that uniform existed back then too I see, she must have really liked those photos Actually, they are just like a family in a hidden village But this doesn't seem as serious as you might think But I don't get it If these customs have become obsolete Why did you come to this island? 一応は修行ってことになってるけど I don't think so どうしてそう思うの You're being too nice for this to be some hunting game And don't forget to,、uh, Karina san I don't know why, but, but I refrain from mentioning myself in there. Like field work? Azusa's eyes, they look mature again. So mature that I can't help but look away. We are not your enemies, huh? Looks like that kind of girl is one of those people. You left your hometown? You're a strong girl. She has to become an adult, not because she wants to. The look in her eyes that I get a glimpse of from time to time is probably because of that. A lot might still be on her mind in regards to the village. I don't think much of it. I'm not embarrassed. No, I'm not. I'm an adult, and adults don't get embarrassed. <laughs> Whilst we're talking, Azusa and I get some fresh air outside. We are still on the bodyguard duty, so we stretch ourselves in front of the dorm. The air outside has gradually started taking on the scent of summer. そろそろ繁華街が恋しくなってない Yeah, and it's been a while since we visited the pool. 泳ぎたい I'm more interested in the feast for my eyes. 仕事でエッチな DVD 見てたくせに Those were too hardcore. I want something brighter. うーん、男の子もそうなんだ Unless you surpass Elena, most people would think the same. Azusa stands there relaxedly. 
When we are talking like this, I can't feel any difference between us, whether it's a hunter or a vampire. The impression I get is that she wasn't hiding the secret, but because she forgot about it completely. Uh, by the way, what about your parents? I guess we are similar then. Yeah, I was raised away from my parents. A sense of companionship. The reason why I'm extremely curious about her might all come down to that. Really? True, I thought that I was alone many times. There were times where I felt out of place even in large groups. But that's all in the past. You were doing it too. This might sound cliched, but I found companions. The reason that I don't feel lonely living here is because I have friends like Azusa. At the very least, I won't be out of place when I'm with them, right? Actually, that sounds embarrassing, so forget all that. <laughs> yeah, I want to catch up with him after things settle down here, I guess. You make a good point. Eh? Mira-san, you're... no, Azusa. Of course we are companions, colleagues actually, but why did I call her by last name just then? Our eyes meet whilst I search for an explanation. Companions. Is she looking at me as a companion? When I move my face closer, I notice a nice smell. This is Azusa's smell. Azusa. That's right. This isn't companionship. For some reason, I want to know even more about her. My face moves closer, for the urge to kiss her is taking over me. Companions don't kiss. But kissing here seems almost natural to me. I can feel my instincts bursting forth. The white nape of her neck suddenly enters my vision. Dazzling in the darkness, fair and soft. Azusa. I close my eyes whilst being surrounded by her scent. I stroke her head. The reason I brush her head is due to hesitation. The richness of her scent is due to my developed vampire senses, and my lust for her saliva is also... How should I say this? Uh, I'm unable to form any proper sentences. I'm a vampire, so none of this matters. However, to me, Azusa is. Whilst my mind goes around in circles, I continue to brush her head. Azusa? She heads back to the dorm at full speed. Sorry, huh? No, that's not right. I should be the one saying sorry. In order to prevent the weird atmosphere getting in the way of my job, I decide to take a bath and refresh myself before I take the shift from Mew. Phew, that felt great. Roger that. Thanks. If you ask me, people who can appreciate her importance are more qualified for this job. You reckon? When there are lots of people in the living room, I feel a little relieved despite still being on bodyguard duty. Oh, thanks. Just when I finished drinking the coke that Inamura got me, I bump into Azusa as she enters the room. Hi. You sound kinda formal. Azusa? What? 
Why are you asking me? Uh, I don't particularly have anything to say to her. Gee. I'm gonna exercise a little. Later then. <laughs> hmm, going on a jog right after a bath is kind of forced. I give up. I can't believe I'm blowing my fuse. I have to prevent myself from being dragged into that weird atmosphere. <laughs> I check the messages on my phone as I am pondering to myself. Below the folder with the information on Aqua Eden is the folder on Anna. I remembered that she told me to text her if I wanted advice. But this is extremely private. That being said, I don't have anyone around me whom I can talk to about this. Sorry for the sudden message. This is Mutsura Yuto. Leaning against the handrail, I start writing up my message. It's faster to call her, but I don't want to cause any trouble if she happened to be talking to someone. You see, I'm having trouble understanding my own heart. What I want to ask about is from the perspective of a vampire who's depressed for one reason or another. I was determined to live on as a vampire, but I've started feeling weird ever since I felt curious about Azusa. But I'm not sure if I can convey my current dilemma properly if I speak to you in person. I think this is unusual after giving it some thought. If a vampire gets into a relationship with a human, he'll be able to suck his partner's blood as much as he wants. I don't think that's the case. If that brings pleasure in itself, then all the better. However, if I find myself reluctant to suck my partner's blood, does that mean I haven't completely assimilated as a vampire? I feel that this isn't quite the case. Whilst trying to rewrite the sentence many times, I always end up with the same thing. I can't seem to convey all my thoughts clearly, but I guess you can take that as a sign of my hesitation. Now to send it. I receive a reply immediately. It seems that she hasn't seen right through me, so I feel somewhat relieved. I'm surprised that you were worried about something like that. Based on the conclusion that I've reached, there's a more important question to ask yourself than whether or not you've assimilated as a vampire, and that is who you've fallen in love with. Who I've fallen in love with? The way I see it, as a vampire, you want to look at Azusa as an equal which is the same thing that she hopes for. <laughs> How did she know? About Azusa and me, but it feels as if the mist ahead is clearing up just from Anna's words. I quickly punch in a brief message. What makes you think it's Azusa? I can tell just by looking. You two always say the same things after all. And then you share the same dislike for preying upon others. Uh, was it that obvious? No, that's not important at the moment. So, is this all because I've only been a vampire for a little while? Good question. However, there is no need to worry. Sayo-sama is trying to find ways for us to coexist with humans, at the very least. As in, for us to adapt to human society? Not quite. Coexistence definitely doesn't involve us submitting. We must learn how to use our smiles. I think we are currently in the stage of trial and error, though Sayo-sama may see this differently. Anna sometimes draws a line between herself and the mayor. Perhaps her words come from the fact that she once fought against humans, along with Giordano. Thank you, I feel better after talking to you. If Azusa and I are looking in the same direction, I'll try not to worry too much. I genuinely feel that way. She is not the leader of vampires for nothing. She managed to clear up my confusion without making it too complex. So, does this mean that Azusa and I are foreseeing the same future for this island? The last message comes slightly delayed. I wonder what it says. I'm surprised to hear you refer to vampires as we. I should be thanking you instead. I hear it. An, an, an interesting love story tonight. Th that wasn't a love story!